Now you just heard from Layla's biological mother right outside the courthouse, but everyone inside was crying minutes before the Rosenbaums were sentenced. Family members on both sides gave emotional pleas to the judge. From now on, we'll refer to our life before Layla died or after Layla died. Right before the Rosa bombs learned their fate, supporters on each side came up one by one. Layla's biological family pleading the couple received the maximum sentence, while the Rosa bombs family begged for leniency. My son is going to die in prison because they're not going to take care of him. Joseph Rosenbaum has cystic fibrosis and diabetes. His mom and dad begged the judge for a short sentence and proper health care in prison. Please have the state take care of him. Suicide watch. But Tessa yeah, Daniels, okay. Layla's I biological mom, said her daughter's life and health were never valued by her former foster parents. They were given an opportunity to have a really precious baby in their life. And instead they took her life. Tessa lost custody of Layla and her sister Millie because she struggled with drug abuse. Because of my actions that caused her to be in their home. But Tessa ended her statement saying she could finally let go of any guilt. And many of the victim impact statements from Layla's family also talked about Millie, her sister. They said Millie will suffer for the rest of her life because of the trauma of being both abused and losing her sister. Millie was adopted after Layla died. Supporters of the Rosenbaum still maintain the couple were good parents and Layla's death was accidental. All right, thanks a lot, Hope.